This problem gives us a fan blade's angular velocity omega as a function of time, and in part a asks us to find the angular acceleration and the instantaneous value at t equals 3 seconds. The angular acceleration alpha is the time derivative of the angular velocity. So we take the derivative of the expression given in the problem to find out that alpha, as a function of time, is minus 2 beta t. We can substitute the value of beta and simplify this to minus 1.60 t radians per second squared. And now we can substitute t equals 3 seconds to find the angular acceleration at that time. And it works out to minus 4.80 radians per second squared. Part B asks for the average angular acceleration between the two times 0 and 3 seconds. The average angular acceleration is the change in angular velocity over the change in time. That's omega final minus omega initial over delta t. And we can come down here to calculate those two omegas. The final value is the angular velocity at 3 seconds. We'll calculate that in a minute. The initial value is the angular velocity at t equals 0 seconds. Let's do that one first because it just works out to gamma. And gamma, we're told in the problem, is 5 radians per second. The value at t equals 3 seconds, gamma minus beta t squared, is 5 radians per second, minus 0.8 radians per second cubed, times the time squared. That works out to minus 2.20 radians per second. That negative tells you that it's spinning in the opposite direction from the initial direction. Substitute those values into the expression above and calculate to find the average angular acceleration is negative 2.40 radians per second squared. 